Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Skyrim's Hidden Treasures. This time we have an interesting one as well. Um, this one's going to be Druidak Redoubt, and apparently I've already cleared this location, which is weird because I don't remember this at all. This one was suggested a bunch of times. Now, the reason I'm doing this one, even though I've cleared it, is because it changes depending on how you completed uh, the quest, No One Escapes from Sidna Mine. If you don't know what that quest is, basically, you get thrown in prison in Markarth, and you have the ability ability to aid um, the Forsworn and if you do so everybody at Druidak Mine or Druidak Redoubt I mean is going to be friendly to you even though they're Forsworn which is you know nine times out of ten they're going to attack you see this the person is again. not attacking me and she is a Forsworn Ravager so there's an inside location again I don't remember ever going inside of here or anything this guy's not attacking me they're all talking about the Reach will be theirs again, but let's head inside and see what this place has to offer. Now what I think happened is that I cleared this place before I did that quest, killed everybody inside, and what happened was that they have uh, all respawned, but because now the game thinks that I completed Sidna Mine and helped out Madanak, the Forsworn leader, these all these people are now um, not hostile to me. So you can see... There's a whole bunch of stuff here. They have a whole bunch of different things, including a grain mill, and I believe there's like everything that you would want a blacksmith forge. Let's take a look. I mean, you can use this place as a house if you do complete this thing. Um, if you do complete the Sidna Mine quest and help out Madanak, you can use this place as a house, and it's pretty cool because it's like an inside cave and it's got this nice shining light, which I should probably get a good view from. Oh, and there's Madanak himself. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know that. Hello. We'll have our freedom one day. Yeah, I don't know if you guys caught that, but he said, Oh, my friend from Sidna Mine. Hello. So there's Madanak. I didn't even realize this is where he comes. Cool. All right. So there are some stuff we can do in here. Um, let's see. The Reach will be ours again. This guy has a unique name, but he's not the talking Reach to me. I'm guessing again. that guy uh, helped us out in Sidna Mine. So there's a... Uh, let's see. Let's take this stuff. I read that if you activate this Reachman map or whatever, but it's not letting... Okay, there we go. If you activate it... Where's the little... There we go. Okay, yeah, it disappears, and now it updates our map and tells us where most of the Forsworn camp locations are. So that's one thing about this location. You'll also notice, like I was saying, you have all of this stuff. You have a blacksmith forge and everything. Um, these people only seem to be concerned about the Reach being theirs again. There's also a skill book here, the Rear Guard, which I believe is Light Armor. Uh, I think we already have a hundred light armor though, and there should be a person. Yeah, this person the right reach here. Will be ours again. I know you guys all say that. Yeah, the reach will be yours again. That's great. All right, so if she gets up, and I believe it's this person right here. If we go into our items and go to apparel and drop something like this, let's see if she'll do it. You gonna do it? No. The reach will okay. be ours again. Let's pick that back up. Apparently, if you like stand next to the person and you drop a piece of apparel, uh, they'll come over to you and ask if they can have it. I'm not sure if because it's an amulet it doesn't count or what. Alright. So let's see. I think there was one more thing. There was supposed to be a cage with a bandit inside that you could loot. Now this is a cage, but I'm not seeing any bandit, so I'm not sure if he just glitched out or what. But yeah, we have a tanning rack. And I don't think we can talk to anybody. They're all just going to say the Reach will be theirs again. And Madanak and uh, his buddies are in here. So yeah, that's about it for this location. I don't know. A lot of people suggested this. And it's interesting to me that it changes based on how you complete the Sidna Mine quest. Uh, because we helped out Madanak. He's here. And everybody is friendly to us. And we can use this as a home. There's also a skill book. There's also that Reach map thing. Which I haven't really seen a lot of. There might be other instances of that. But I don't know. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, it's no secret that I'm running really low on good Skyrim Hidden Treasures episodes. Most of the ones that we have left seem to be just very small locations with not much to them. Uh, I wanted to do this one, like I said, just because it was interesting to me. But if you guys have any more really awesome suggestions, feel free to leave them below. If not, we might have to move on to something else. I don't know. I'm running out. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rovana, and I'll see you in the next one. 
Thank you for watching this video, I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to like and share it wherever you can, it really helps me grow my channel. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and click subscribe on your screen, and if you want to see the next video in this series, click watch another. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.